versus Pakistan. Pakistan having won the toss and deciding to field first. He's taken it. Good reaction from Mohamed Asif. Bowling off the inside edge. Two wickets in two overs for Asif. He struck twice. That's a good strike. That's where he's going, Utapa. Doesn't mind taking the aerial route, but uh, is at his best when he looks to play straight. That's chipped in the air, should be taken. It's off the leading edge. Jugraj goes, Shoaib Malik, the captain, making no mistake. Got him! There you go, says Mohamed Asif, and the ploy of giving him the extra over has worked. This could well be the spell of the tournament so far. That is a hit. That is a super hit. First one goes over the ropes. This is gone. This time he hasn't missed. Not on you. Goes past the outside edge, in fact, takes the outside edge. That's a wicket Pakistan wanted because uh, Uttapa was looking dangerous. That was a fantastic stroke. And these are the kind of strokes which can really encourage the Indian stringent hair. That's massive from Irfan Patan. Incredible hit. That's another massive hit, another six. Giving Shahid Afridi's own treatment. He's not worried about Afridi's variation, he's just down the wicket, no nonsense. Back to ball, straight in the crowd. He's gone, Patan's gone, going for a third one. Hundred, India 111 for six. Harpasan Singh comes to the wicket. A great shot from the Indian captain, Mahinder Singh Dhoni, as the rain comes down. It takes it flat. That's up in the air. Will this be taken? It's a wet ball and cleanly picked up by Yunus Khan. They had their best fielder patrolling the boundary line. Direct hit and he's gone. Karman Akmal hitting the bullseye and hit it when it mattered most. 20 overs ball, India 9 down, 141. In the air, in the gap, and the first boundary. Imran Nazir is off the mark with style. It was just a matter of time. The way he was swinging his back, one good delivery was always going to do the trick. First wicket for the Indian. And the bowler is not learning. Once again, testing the batsman with a short fish delivery. And this time, the result is different. It's six runs. He's on target, chance, directly. Gotta go! This time, a few bats in. Kamran Akmal. Lost the plot. India have picked up another quick wicket. Bowled it inside edge. In fact, it hit the club, and Irfan Patan is off the mark. Well, that'll help. That'll help. They need more of those. 55 from 31 now. Well, that's more like it. A bit of intent from the batsman. A bit of aggression. That's on the air. Man coming underneath it. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a very good hit. That's clever. 
Very clever. Gets the boundary. That's a terrific shot. One bounce over the rope. It's seven needed from four. That's gone through. Just one needed for Pakistan. The scores are tied. Pakistan know they can't lose this. What's uh, been great about this innings is his composure. Wickets have fallen around him. He's kept his cool. And now has the opportunity to finish things off for Pakistan. Once the single sent back, one to go, one run to get. But just one needed for Pakistan. Missed bounce strike. They go for it. There's a chance of a run out, and he gets it. The match ends in a tie. What a finish to an India-Pakistan game. This game had top billing, and it's ended in that fashion. Neither team wins. Both teams go through to the Super 8, that's for sure. So, all in readiness now for the ball out to commence. He hits. Pakistan, and he misses. <laughs> the crowd getting into it. He's half Jan Singh going to go for the off spinner on the Doosra. Zero in there. Misses by a big win. It's still 2 0 in there. Here's Utapa. He hits 3 0 in there. Pakistan had to hit with all their remaining deliveries. the game in conventional fashion but it's two points for the Indian team and they'll be delighted about it what it also means that they top the group